for uh, a level of uh, felony arrest. And I thought felony arrest was the best single dimension to evaluate the impact of the, of the court system on the community. We can talk a lot about the benefit to the people who were in the program, and I think we'll hear a lot of that, and these are very impressive stories, believe me. And trust me, I will be taking this information back to Romania to report on what I'm learning tonight. Um, but over the course of the, of the time that Judge Doyle was running the court, there was a 32% reduction in felony arrests in the entire Kane County. That's a dramatic impact on the program. And in the time since the program has changed, the number of felony arrests has increased back 34%. So in a set, in a, if you're a scientist, you understand what an ABA design looks like, and that is that you have a certain condition. Let's, let's say that you have high blood pressure. You, you start with high blood pressure and then you take medicine. That's the treatment, the medicine. When you start taking the medicine, your blood pressure goes down. And then later on, well then you can say, well, maybe a lot of things made my blood pressure go down. Maybe I'm under less stress. Maybe I'm getting more sleep, etc., etc. But then, to validate the thing, they say, now take him off the blood pressure medicine. And if you do that, and the blood pressure then goes back up, you have a pretty high level of confidence to say that it was the drug, the, the blood pressure medicine that uh, caused the change in blood pressure. Similarly, if you look at the felony arrest statistics, they were at this level, you apply the treatment, which is Ju Judge Doyle's court, and they drop down. Then you, you change the treatment to what I'm going to call the placebo control, and the program goes, and the drug uh, problem goes back up again. So we had every basis for thinking that this program is effective, not just for the people in the program, but also for the community. And if you understand Romania, it's a poor country, but it's the main conduit route of heroin traffic from Afghanistan into the United States. The drugs are produced in Afghanistan. The heroin that you guys were using when you were using heroin probably went through Romania. It went through Afghanistan to Turkey to Romania to the former Yugoslavia, and from there into Western Europe, Mexico, and the U.S. So, to the effect, to the extent that you can stop the problem there, it's beneficial to them and it's beneficial to us. And then the third and final reason why we picked the program is, it makes sense from what I know as a psychologist. It has, first of all, it gets people the help they need. They get treatment in this program and not prison. The second beneficial thing is that um, they are treated um, they are treated with short-term reinforcement for short-term events. We all know that short-term consequences have a far greater effect than long-term consequences. For example, smoking. You smoke in the short run, it feels good. In the long run, you die of lung cancer. We're, as human beings, oriented to short-term treatment. The, pro the problem with a lot of programs is that it's a one-strike-and-you're-out model. You're, you're put on probation. You make one mistake. You go back to prison. You're there for two years. You don't have an opportunity to learn from your mistakes for two more years. In Judge Doyle's court, what happened was you made a mistake, you got an immediate punishment, but it was short term, and you had another opportunity to learn from your mistakes. Uh, so all in all, in conclusion, I think that it's a program that makes sense for so many reasons. Frankly, in my review of the court, I didn't see anything that Judge Doyle did that deviated from the national standards that were set up or the law that was created. Uh, I wasn't there. I didn't see everything that went on. I can't say for certain. But in my opinion, what, Joyle did, what Judge Doyle 
it was to take national standards and apply them in a very caring way and put in 10 times the effort that he really had to do just to draw a paycheck. Like you guys said, he was there at 5 in the morning, he was there at 8 at night. This is not a guy who's just punching his clock and going to work. He really cares. And for that reason, that's why I came from Cleveland to have to say what I had to say. Yes, I get to say it, Dr. Laura. <laughs> Dr. Yes, Laura yes. Mays. Just back from, that's a long flight, too. It is. A it's a pleasure to be here. This isn't the first time I've spoken to a group of people in Kane County about the drug court. Uh, again, I just want to re I won't reiterate everything my husband said, but I will say that I agree with him. Uh, you know, I've been working in the former Soviet Union republics and in the Eastern Communist bloc nations for, you know, 14, 15 years. And I have to say, you know, to Senator Lausen that uh, Romania is a country that it really seems to be open to new ideas uh, and able to adapt them to their own environment. It isn't as if they just take everything you give them and say, okay, we're going to do what you say. But they think about things very carefully. Uh, they analyze it. And, you know, we gave them our opinion about what should be done for the uh, alternatives to incarceration. And I was thinking about all of you, Tom, Virginia, Jesse, when you were talking about the, the drug court currently in Romania, there's no alternative to incarceration. And in most counties in Romania, we don't they, they don't separate the juveniles from the adults when they do send them to prison. And this is, you know, going to be a start in the right direction for them. And uh, in October, we're going to have a major conference in Romania. General Abraham has asked me to invite you to that, so I will do that now. And it will be to uh, launch the drug court program in that country. And I just want to say one more thing, that's all. Uh, I've said this before, but I think it bears repeating. Um, Abraham Lincoln, uh, one of his quotes was, stand with the man who stands for the right. And that's why I'm proud to stand with Jim Doyle. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anybody else who would like to uh, speak tonight?